Hey guys, this video is brought to you by the crew at Sawpaw Fans. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video for good way to get some good pricing on this as well as all the other products they have to offer. What is up everybody, BP Hero coming at you here on one of the windiest days of the year as you saw by the camera crashing down there. Uh, what me and my man Tony are swinging today is the Louisville Slugger a Z1000 inload for the 2019 year. This is the Stephen Lloyd Signature Edition. Uh, the field we're on is basically 310 down the lines and 330 to the gap. And as mentioned, uh, there is a pretty steady wind here blowing. Uh, it was coincidentally enough at our backs on this day, so it was kind of nice to have a change of pace instead of it blowing in on you all the time. Balls we're using, as you can see, are the BP-52 Plus from Evil, as well as a few Evil BP rockets and some 44-400s uh, and a few classic games mixed in there as well. This bat is approved for you, Triple SA play, and has about 75 swings on it uh, going into this day of BP here. It is a 27 ounce hey! and is listed as an inload, <laughs> which uh, in really the term means they're half ounce inload. Just like last year, Stephen Lloyd, the weighting on it felt almost the same. We were able to still get some good drive behind the ball and we were able to still control it too. The inload wasn't so overwhelming, you couldn't do anything with it. This is a two-piece bat, as usual, and I like the Jeff Hall that I reviewed earlier. The Z1000s this year had uh, very close to a one-piece feel to them. We got plenty of feedback without any of it being negative, but the barrel was very responsive performance-wise. Even having that one-piece type feel, it was very forgiving up and down the barrel, and the sweet spot was hard to miss. Louisville got back into the game last year with their Z1000s, and this year seemed to be even better in my opinion. The Z1000 line does seem to be a little more lively than the Z5 line as well, I will say that. I'm not saying that the Z5 couldn't possibly reach the potential, but it's definitely going to take some more work to get there. Tony and I had a blast hitting this one. I filmed this review once and had to delete it because of some lighting issues that I had, but was not disappointed to have to put more swings on it. The performance you're seeing here isn't too far from what was straight out of the wrapper. Very good early on, and it felt great, and that half ounce in load can drive through a ball with ease. They still give the ability to control it, as I mentioned. I did prefer this over the Jeff Hall, just based on the fact that uh, it was able to drive a ball and still have some control, which is something that the great big end load on the Jeff Hall wasn't really allowing me to do. I'm sure someone's going to make the comment at the wind at our backs for this video, but I can assure you that the performance out of this thing had plenty to get out of this baseball field without any wind assistance. It's not ideal filming conditions, but the show must go on. The first round I put on this was also on a baseball field and I got out of it on several occasions of trying to drive a ball, so I had no doubt that this thing has got some gas behind it. Full of praise? Yeah, I was with this one, no doubt. Buy with confidence if you're looking into one of these. This one is no doubt BP Hero approved. Put 50, 75 swings on it with some classic M's, throw it in the bag, game ready, got yourself a fire stick. That's going to conclude this review, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll doing all kinds of reviews. There's all kinds on there as well. I turn on those notifications and I'll catch you in the next one. I don't care. I don't know how hard. Yeah. Cool. Dip and rip, kid. Hi, right, everybody. Here we are at the end of the video, and I'm going to show you how to get some of that pricing I was talking about. And for that, what we're going to do is head over to Softball Fans Forum. We're going to log in, put in your credentials here. If you don't have any, you can make an account, but you can't use mine. We're going to go up to the search box here and type in the name Me Loco Man, as I've got it spelled here. We're going to hit the search button, then come on down and click on Chad's name, which is Me Loco Man. Click on start a conversation, which is softball fans version of a personal message. Come on down, type in a conversation title so you can send this bad boy off. And then all you got to do is type in how much for uh, whatever product you're looking at and hit the start conversation button to send him a message and he'll get you fixed up with a good price on whatever it is you need.